Hello everybody, it's Christopher here with 3DO Gaming, and today I am here with a package that I just received today from Amazon, and I wanted to go ahead and open this up with you. I have not opened this at all, but this is a new toy I got in today. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Yeah, let me go ahead and open it up with my knife here. Good old bubble wrap, or the air bubbles. And here is the bad boy. Let me move the box out of the way. And there we go, guys. I have just got an Ambernix new device. This is the RG351V. And this is a Game Boy style handheld from Ambernix. And I wanted to go ahead and try this out. I've had a few requests to go ahead and do some videos on this. And I was a little hesitant. I'm not a big fan of the Game Boy style. I prefer more of the, the Game Gear PSP style. But I wanted to go ahead and try it out. So I had enough requests and enough intrigue on my own self to go ahead and order one. And I did just get it in. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the device. Again, the box is similar to the RG351P that I have. Standard white box. Open up. Little foam padding. And the device. A little bit bigger than I thought it would be. That's okay. Let's see what's under here. 64 gigabyte micro SD card. The wet wipes. Glass screen protector, always nice. Cable, USB-C. And then we have two things here, starter guide and user manual. So let's go ahead and get the box out of the way. And we're gonna open this up and see how everything is. Go and look at that. Getting started guide, Windows external card. Program's all in Chinese, of course. Two is an internal game card, okay. User manual, we'll take a look at that later. But let's go ahead and open the device up. There it is. It actually is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. But it's not a bad thing. RG351V. Take a look at the, the front of this here. I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of the specs of this device. The RG351P, got a three and a half inch IPS display on here. The resolution on it is increased from the um, other 351s. This is a 640 by 480 screen. Uh, the CPU on this got a quad core 1.5 gigahertz CPU one gig of RAM on there, and 16 gig internal card right there. This is a dual micro SD system, so one of them is gonna be the system files, the other one here, this is a 64 gigabyte card they give with you, that is gonna be the game files. It does have vibration in here. You got speaker right down here with it. Um, battery life on there is a 3900 milliamp battery, they say it's gonna be up to six hours of battery life which is about par for everything. And it will accept up to a 256 gigabyte card. Has Wi-Fi built in on this model, which is different from the 351P where they had removed Wi-Fi due to some speaker issues. But it'll be similar to the 351M where they did put back the, the Wi-Fi feature on there. On the device itself, you have your D-pad nice d-pad you have your reset buttons can be on here start select your one thing on this compared to the other 351s you are only going to have one thumbstick on there you're not going to have the dual thumbsticks i know that's a downgrade in some aspects but realistically most of the games that you're playing on here do not use both thumbsticks you will get some of the 
some issues with some games, um, especially some of the PlayStation, um, the later PlayStation 1 games that do require dual thumbsticks, um, analog thumbsticks, but for most of the games, this should be perfectly fine still. Your four face buttons here, A, B, X, Y. They're nice and clicky. On the side here, you have your dual trans flash cards, micro SD slots. One's internal uh, for the internal OS. The other one is for your additions of games. On here, your power button. Um, this is your reset button on here. Volume rocker, plus and minus, your volume up and down. On top, you have nothing. On the bottom, you have dual USB-C ports. And let me see if it identifies it, which is which. Okay, of course they have it shown from the back side. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's why they show the back side. So looking at the back side, this one here is your, your on-the-go port. This one on this side is your DC input, as well as you can use it as a USB-C port. And you have your headphone jack spot, which is nice. On the back though, you also have your L1, R1, L2, R2s, which are nice and clicky. I said it is bigger than I assumed it would be, which is not bad at all. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and install the screen protector that came with this. That's usually one of the first things I like to do. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this started and uh, take a look at some of the games and see what the operating system looks like. So let's go ahead and dive into that. Okay, I'm back here with the device. I have gone ahead and put the glass screen protector that was included on here. And I inserted the 64 gigabyte memory card in the bottom slot here. So let's go ahead and power on this device. Push and hold the power button. Light indicator comes up, and it is starting up now. All right, and it is up. Let's see, you got Nintendo DS, Final Bar Neo, MAME, of course, Wonder Swan Color, Capcom Play System 1, Capcom Play System 2, Capcom Play System 3, uh, MSX, PC Engine games, Nintendo, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Open Bore, Genesis, Game Gear, your Mega Drive, Dreamcast, Neo Geo, Neo Geo Pocket, PlayStation, PlayStation Portable, and all games. So it's got a good selection of games on here. I will be posting soon a full listing of all the games available on the system. So you'll see that video coming up shortly after this, next day or two. I will put a link in the description below and update it as soon as the video posts. So you'll have a direct link down there for it. But uh, I always like doing that there. It just gives you a good example of what comes with this. And I will have a link in the description below too of where I purchased this, how much it cost, and the direct seller that I bought it from. So hopefully everything stays the same. And once you get yours, you'll look exactly like mine. It does come in three different colors. Um, there is a wood grain finish. Um, this is black transparent. And they do have a gray one, um, which is a, it's a, like an off-white almost with uh, black buttons. The wood grain one looks pretty good. It is a lighter wood. Some of you may like that. I didn't really want a wood grain device personally, but it doesn't it doesn't look bad at all. But for my own taste, I just figured I'd go with um, the black one in this case. So this is on the default operating system. So let's go ahead and let's load up a PlayStation game. Uh, what's this one? Final Fantasy Tactics. Okay. 
All right, load up Dragon Ball GT. So this is Dragon Ball GT Final Bout for the Sony PlayStation. While this loads up, I'll give you a fun fact. Dragon Ball GT is the only game that I have ever sold to GameStop. I got Dragon Ball GT for Christmas, what, 98, 97, somewhere around there. And I was never a big fan of it. I was more of a fan of Dragon Ball than the game itself. And when the Sega Dreamcast came out, I actually traded that in and I got $140, I think, from it from GameStop. A ridiculous amount. And it paid for most of my Sega Dreamcast. So, till this day, that is the only game I've ever traded in. And I know the value of the game has gone up, but considering what I got for it, I have no regret on trading that in there. I was never a big fan of it, but it was okay. But it definitely paid for my Sega Dreamcast, most of it. So I was quite happy to do that. Speakers are nice and loud on here. I did turn it down. That's a little over, overbearing, but. The screen looks very nice on it. Though. Three and a half inch IPS display. All right, there it is. Go ahead and battle. Character selection. Device is not too heavy. Okay, all the buttons do work. This was a... I was, enjoyed the Dragon Ball Z games that came out for PlayStation. And also I had them on the Saturn. Out of Japan, there were 2D fighters. This was a 3D fighter, so... I just didn't like the, the feel of it, and I, to be honest, still don't. <laughs> My guy's down. Why is he down? So yeah, I was never a big fan of this game there, but it does run fine. Um, the whole fighter itself to me was always a little slow. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish this battle there and I'm gonna load up another game. Try out some other. No! Piccolo was knocked out. All right, let's go ahead and see what DS games. Let's choose a Nintendo DS game. <laughs> There you go. We'll do this one. Diddy Kong Racing. New game, single player, single race. So to move the stylus on the DS, it uses the D-pad. 
Let's choose one of the croc guys. Wrong button. B is back. My apologies. All right, it's there. You gotta use the L2, or the R2, sorry. Is it running fine though? Let's go. Power up. Zoom, zoom. Diddy Kong racing for the Nintendo DS. In my hovercraft. How? Where's everybody else there? <laughs> but it runs perfectly fine. I haven't seen any graphical hiccups or anything. That's always a nice thing. So that's a DS game on here. To get out of the DS emulator, start and A will get you right out. So let's, let's go find another game to try out. Super Nintendo. The Legend of Zelda. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Let's load that up. Hope this is not the fighters game. <laughs> it is the tournament fighters. Uh, this game. This game I actually had originally on the Nintendo and then on the Genesis. The Nintendo version is horrid, in my opinion. And each one, they're a little bit different, each one. But I was not a fan of the Nintendo one at all. I got my butt kicked. <laughs> Leo, you lost. Oh, 
Ow! Well, there you go, guys. The screen actually looks gorgeous on this. I am really impressed with this screen. It's one of the best screens I've seen on a retro handheld. It is really crisp. The colors look very vibrant. It's very impressive, actually. I, they did a really good job on this screen. But that'll be all for now, guys. The device itself, I like it. Um, I'm going to reset it real quick. Very nice device overall, to be honest. It's got a nice feel to it, nice weight to it. It's larger than I thought it would be, which is not a bad thing because I actually like that it has the bigger size on there. It's easier to hold, um, but it's not too big where it's going to be out of, I mean, everything's out of the way. But I, I like the device a lot. I'm going to be doing a little bit more testing out there. I expect to see a few more videos coming out over the next few days. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, anything you want to see on this device, I leave me a message below. Send me a thing, a message on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at 3DO Gaming. And I will see you guys around in the next video. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. I do post them daily. And I will see you guys around later.